The Quattro permanent four-wheel drive system has a long tradition stretching back over 30 years. The Quattro four-wheel drive system permanently and optimally distributes the power from the engine to all four wheels. It provides a high level of active safety and reliable traction on practically all surfaces and optimal straight driving. Its permanent safety advantage makes it far and away superior to other all-wheel drive systems that have to be manually activated. The principle is simple. Just as four brakes provide for better deceleration, four driven wheels provide for better acceleration and greater lateral stability. Audi's Quattro permanent four-wheel drive system is the systematic implementation of this law of physics. The new Audi RS5 sees the introduction of the latest generation of Quattro. Quattro with crown gear, center differential and torque vectoring. The task of the center differential is to distribute the drive force of the engine to the front and rear axles. If, for example, one of the wheels on the front axle starts to spin, the crown gear center differential will immediately spring into action. Up to 85% of the drive force will promptly be fed to the rear axle. This can be seen here with the two turning differential gears. If the wheels on the rear axle start to spin, the crown gear center differential will immediately feed up to 70% of the drive force to the front axle. In its basic configuration, 60% of the drive torque is fed to the rear axle and 40% to the front axle. Here you can see the structure of the crown gear center differential, the heart of the Quattro drivetrain. The drive force is introduced via the components illustrated in grey. The gold-coloured parts drive the front axles and the bronze-coloured parts drive the rear axle. If there is a difference in speed between the front and rear axles, the centre differential will spring into action and generate a locking torque with the plate packs. That means that the drive force will be distributed to the two axles according to actual requirements, allowing more power to be transferred to the wheels. The new crown gear employs a metal cap to keep flow losses to a minimum. The basic distribution is generated by gears with different diameters meshing with the two crown gears. The arrows symbolize the flow of torque or force. For example, if the wheels on one of the drive axles are unable to transmit the full force, the center differential and its differential gears will spring into action. The force will immediately be fed to the axle with the better traction, with zero time lag. Without ESP intervention, this happens with up to 85% to the rear axle and up to 70% to the front axle. With an electronic control system, up to 100% can be fed to a single axle. The good dynamic performance characteristics of the Audi RS5 with crown gear center differential are noticeably extended in conjunction with torque vectoring. Additional steering torque is generated according to the situation and the driver's needs. Finely metered braking torque is applied to the two wheels on the inside of the curve. This creates a difference in drive force on the left and right hand sides. 
the same time, the longitudinal drive force distribution is optimized according to the driving situation by the ratio of the brake force application on the front and rear axles. When pulling away and when accelerating rapidly, more drive force is fed to the rear axle. The combination of crown gear center differential and torque vectoring on the Audi RS5 provides for precise handling even when cornering. This happens with zero time lag in accordance with the driver's steering and acceleration commands. The dynamic drive force distribution allows excellent exploitation of the traction potential, good track stability and outstanding agility. The torque vectoring system was developed by Audi to act before the wheels start to spin, reducing undesirable effects. The combination of Quattro drive system with crown gear differential and torque vectoring gives the Audi RS5 outstandingly precise control right up to the car's handling limits.